Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful galaxy bookmarks. They're super simple and easy to make, so even if you are a beginner, don't worry. I'm going to show you step by step how to make those. At the end, I'm going to laminate them, but if you don't have a laminator, then don't worry, it's not really necessary. Here I'm going to show you the difference between laminated and not laminated one. I made those some time ago and you can see how the not laminated one it's not in the same good condition as the one that's laminated. Also you can see how glossy the laminated one is. I think it's just beautiful. What we are going to use is white gouache paint, salt, just regular kitchen salt, nothing fancy. The masking tape, a toothbrush, water, brushes and paper. I don't use my best quality paper for this. The paints I'm using is my first set of Ladoga paints. First I cover the edges with masking tape. Then I stick the smaller tape in the middle. After that I do it once more and once more. So from one sheet of paper we'll be having four bookmarks. Except for the Ladoga set, I will be using the Windsor & Newton Professional Indigo Paint and the Windsor & Newton Cotman Lamp Black. I pre-wet the paper on two segments as I will be working on both. Now you can pick the color of your first galaxy. There is no specific shape that I'm going for, just spreading the paint in the middle. The second bookmark I will be using two colors just to add more variety. Now I add the indigo on the edges to create the illusion of depth. You can go a little crazy with that, just remember to not cover the entire initial color. Remember that when the paint is wet, it's a little darker than when it's dried. That's why I'm adding even more colors in the middle. When I'm happy with the first layer of the painting, it is time to add some salt. What salt does is it absorbs water. So when mixed with watercolor, it will create this frosty snowflake effect. I'm sprinkling the salt all over the painting, but mostly in the middle. Because here is where I'd like the galaxy to be the brightest. Now I let it dry. Try not to use a hair dryer because we really want the salt to do its thing. Then I repeat the whole process for two other segments. I just pick different colors. You can already see how the salt is starting to work.
After it's dried, I sweep the salt off. As you can see, I didn't wait long enough, so don't make the same mistake as me. At the end, if you're not sure, just use the hair dryer. Now it's time for our second layer. I pre-wet the surface again, this time for all the segments. I'm adding more colors on top of the first layer. Just be careful not to cover the whole middle area. We want the first layer to shine through, as it is where the light is coming from. And now the indigo on the edges again. It is a time when we create the shapes of our galaxies. Now my favorite part, let's add some stars. First mixed white gouache with a little bit of water. Then put a little amount on the brush. And then scrape with your fingers so the paint splashes all over the painting. After that, I add the salt again. Just remember to do it while the painting is still wet. After it's dried and the salt is swept, I do the stars again. As you can see, I'm super impatient and I don't even wait until it dries to take the tape off. The edges are uneven and the paint is all over the place, but it doesn't matter. We will be cutting those off. If you're not going to laminate your bookmarks, then you can skip this part. After it's finally dried, I place the paper sheet in the special lamination foil. I 
have to wait till the ready light is on. When it's ready, I insert the sheet into the laminator. Sealed edge first. This is literally the cheapest laminator I could find online. The cost of that was around 15 euro, so I don't expect it to be perfect. In fact, I know it's not going to be. So the red purple one looks pretty okay. But in the next ones, as you can see, the air is everywhere, it didn't work how it's supposed to, but don't worry, you can actually do that all over again until it's fine. So let's give it another try. Now starting with the other edge. So it looks really better now. The only one that's still not good is the yellow green one. You can see the air bubbles between foil and paper, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is. It's just going to be my bookmark. Now it's time to cut them off. Yeah, the green one is bad. You can actually see how the foil coverage, the colors are just more vibrant, more saturated. You can cut the corners however you want the shape of your bookmark to be. I'm going to make holes with a hole puncher. As later I will attach some strings with gemstone beads to it. I didn't catch it on camera, but if you want me to show you how it's done, let me know in the comments. That's pretty much it. The bookmarks are ready to use. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video please consider subscribing. See you next time, bye!